okay so our helicopter system now we need a flare uh, so you know flares that is used by aircraft to avoid getting hit by other missiles uh, so this is the particles so I'm going to implement this Niagara system for the flare today so this is the preview so this will be this is just the particle system later on we will attach this to uh, spawn this dynamically when we press like fire flares buttons and not just one like multiple flares will be ejected from the helicopter to the side so that's what we are going to implement with this right now let's get started with the particle system so I will create a new Niagara system from selected emitters and I will use this fountain template NS layer right so this is what we get and so uh, this flare is going to be something move uh, something moving in the world so I'll set this at velocity in the cone I'll make the cone axis x axis uh, no minus x axis so whatever the forward of the flare for the particles in this case should be smoke should spawn back so and this uh, since it is smoke not like a solid uh, objects they should not fall down like this so I'll set the gravity force to something positive so they will move up in time like uh, with time uh, right now let's make them look like smoke so for that we already have this sub the smoke sub UV this is already in the um, it is already in the starter contents it is already available for you so you don't have to create it from scratch so select um, smoke sub UV and here now you see you get like an array of a smoke so to get uh, randomly these different um, sub UVs you can set image size to 8 see now you get a single smoke element right so to make it look more like smoke let's start adjusting this so first I'll set the spawn rate to 500 and then uh, let's reduce the velocity 300 and 500 and also the scale the scale of each sprite should be larger so that it would look like a single smoke color so here let's add the scale sprite size so I'll turn this into a curve oh wait this uh, this one so this uh, y x axis represents the normalized edge of the particle so initially the scale should be small I'd say 0.1 for both x and y And at the end they should be larger let's uh, 
and I'll scale the curve with 5 now it looks more like a smoke more like a smoke but I think uh, for a flare let's see some references so here are some references and as you can see here the initial plot is more like a light and we have a thin trail of smoke so that's the look we need to have so here first i'll set this velocity cone angle to like two so it will make the cone of the make the smoke column thin and sphere location i don't think we need it so yeah better also if we need to have a longer tail we can increase the lifetime here i'll set it 2.4 to 2.47 so now we have a much longer trail tail and the initial part should be highly emissive that's the look we have in all of these reference images so to make that happen um, if i go to this material you see this material does not have any emission so let me duplicate this m smoke sub uv mc let's rename it and then i'll connect particle color to this emissive color as well by making this material has an emission we might run into some problems in different light conditions uh, but for now i'll just ignore that and if we run into any problems later on we will change the material so right now that we have the emission let's change this um, smoke sub uv to m smoke sub uv emissive did i apply the changes now right shaders are compiling um, give it a minute right under default light conditions it looks fine so how to make this initial part um, look more like a light so for that i let the color module and change this into a curve color from curve then here double click and let's change this color let's say like thousand thousand Awesome. Right now, this is very bright, but it would be better if we have some yellowish color here. Okay, but the tail, this emission should only be in the first part, initial part. After that, we don't need any emission. So, click here and add another color. Here, let's just make it one, one, one. Okay, now we don't. Now, still the emission is quite long. Let me clo move it closer. Right, the closer you move it, the smaller this emissive part gets. Right. Oh, did I add another color? okay can i further increase the emission yeah better. okay so this is the player what else do we have to do i think that would be enough
if we want we can make it a bit gray when it mm, gets closer gray or black and it get closer to the end but no the way it is is fine right so let's put this in the level right this seems fine this will do for our flare uh, let me just move this around are there anything else we need to modify shall we increase the drag a bit decrease the velocity there no then it becomes too thick and I think this amount is ideal So this is our player particle and thanks for watching so next time let's see how to add this into the real helicopter and spawn them accordingly and see you in another episode as always project files will be available for the download bye